I gotta ask you, uh, Big Lexi. Don't know that hoe. Okay. Period. Period. I really want to know who she is. I didn't really know who she is. See, I you don't know her. I don't know her. Know her. Big Lexi. She I don't know really her. Know. I wanted to know what you know. What, what we, the don't know really know. Know. we don't know. We don't know her. I, 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 I never knew. I we never Google. knew her. <laughs> I don't know. We don't man. know who that. We don't know who that hoe is. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know. I, I was just trying to figure out because I know. No, I googled oh, and I know. seen like that night. I googled and I seen oh. and I was trying to figure out. So we I don't, don't know that hoe. We don't, right. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Is it, I don't even say nothing about no big see? Lex. I don't know. Yo, we don't know. I see a lot of different things for you. It's like coming from love and hip hop. I just think that that kind of. They, they put you in one boat with that and then when you came out you came out swinging doing a bunch of different things so like even going back to um, the latest thing that just happened why the hell you won't get into like pro wrestling why you why you won't get paid for <laughs> slapping people why, you know cause you was handing out slaps like you know like Stone Cold Steve Austin I seen it and I, I even sent it to you in the DM I said damn you look cute doing it but like why? Why? What? What was happening? Like, why you won't go into pro Girl, wrestling and get you paid are too to slap funny. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm saying she's not. slapping security. He's supposed to protect you. She's slapping this nigga. Nigga, you ain't quick enough. Pow. So I tell you what. I tell you what. I, I'm not really. Uh, you know. I. You know. I just got out of jail. Yes. You know, I just got out of jail. Mm -hmm. yes, so it's really not too much that I could talk on that. But I will, gotcha. you know, I because you know, I, you know, I was gone, girl. I was in Lauderdale, Broward County. I was yeah. cold, came out with a coughing, everything. Girl, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> like, they got me up for two days, and I'm sitting up here sick as a dog. Why yeah. me? Yeah. Why me? Yeah. So I can't really speak too much on that. But what? You. But what I can say is that I'm I'm gonna always uh put uh pro uh how do you say it? Betray yourself? Uh, no. Uh, protect. Yes. There you go. How do you say it again? Protect. Yes. Me. Right? Always. Mm -hmm. And if you see me out here in the streets, when you know you two in, in the world, America, whoever mm -hmm. knows me know yeah. where I come from and what I've done and how I've changed, you know I'm just making sure that I'm straight and, and, and no one hurts me. Yeah. You know? So, you know, the media only show you one thing. It looks yeah. like a whole lot of chaos, yeah. but you might not know what happened prior to mm -hmm. that chaos. Mm -hmm. Like, five seconds before right. or ten seconds before. Right. You just see, like, the rah rah. And because it's me, it's always so much bigger than what it actually is. Yeah. And that that's another big point, too. So, it's like, you know, even... I, to keep going back to it, you know, Love & Hip Hop, they had you... They, I know that the it was a lot of tension with you Mona because it's like she always wanted to portray you in that light even when you were trying to change from that even after giving birth to Bonnie and just everything you wanted to change and then you got from under that and then you go to Zeus and I and you know a lot of people even me feel like uh like Zeus want to kind of portray you in the same light you know what I'm saying do you ever feel any way about that like how you would be for Mona about it then you go over to Lil Lamel he got you, you know, looking the same way, not all the time, but like, it's like negative driven. It's like, it's always like that when you're so many other things and just fighter. Well, I say this, I would say this, shout out, shout out to Mona and shout out to Lemmy. Yeah. They both gave me amazing opportunities. And I will also say I'm a grown person, right? Mm -hmm. The way I run my cabaret, as far as like being on on Suits Network, because when I did Love and Hip Hop, I was like, you know, I was younger, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. wild, I was out there. So yeah. it's only but so much that a network could do for yourself yeah. to help you or break you. You know, mm -hmm. you, you still have to accept responsibilities as a human being as that, yeah. you know, for, as, yourself. for yourself. Mm -hmm. So with that, that was what, what it was, right? And if it wasn't for Love and Hip Hop, let's just be real, I would not be here with the cabaret. Yeah. And then, you know, with the cabaret, like, listen, that's just how I run my motherfucking show. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, mm -hmm. I run my bitches to do what the fuck I tell them to do. If you mm -hmm. can't be, you can't be in the cabaret. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, I'm giving you an opportun opportunity. I pay them $500 a day when they go on tour with me. If we do 10, 15, 20 nights, and then, you know, people throw <laughs> ones on us. Yeah, <laughs> they throw money. The yeah. yeah, I even get a cut out of that. I'm like, bitch, I'll dance. I need to get my cut. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get I need my PC from everything. So it's like with that, you know, it's that. So, you know, when you see me on Sue's mm -hmm. with let me on the cabaret, I, I just think that you see so much more of, of me running a business yeah. mm -hmm. instead of seeing like the personal jostling. Like yeah. the personal jostling is different than the jostling mm -hmm. that's actually running a business. Mm -hmm. So I might look like I'm rah rah or like I'm being put in this one life, mm -hmm. but you gotta remember you're only seeing like really just 20, 30% right. of my life. Right. Because even though I got cameras out for 46 weeks, like I do right now filming mm -hmm. Jocelyn's Cabaret season mm -hmm. four. 
it's still not every single not day. Every you, you know, you. you don't see when I'm crying. You don't see when I'm yeah. taking care of my daughter. Yeah. You don't see when I'm, you know, working out, mm-hmm. doing yoga every day. I've been in New York and I've been doing yoga every day with my husband. But well, you know, you that? could. I was gonna say, but you know, it's th- the fact that it's your show, you can display what you want to display now. Right. Like, you can put that out there. You just ain't gotta put the cabaret part. You could put you know, that out too. And I-